<laughs> I'll share with you uh, very soon now. A will. A will. Yes. It's a cookie. That's strange. It's a cookie. Yeah. It's a cookie. Yeah. yeah. There is many, many ways of looking at this. It's just because we have a different perspective. But what I want to share with you here is this: we are here. We are just like a little dot here. This is our circle of influence. Inside here is what we are used to do, and outside here is a whole brand new world. Here, maybe here plays over there. Here, maybe do classic there. Each, each of us have their own circle. Mm -hmm. And if we don't push ourselves out of the circle, we will never reach to other circle and become a bigger circle. So, are you willing to change? Change, talk easy, do difficult. Because when you are open your heart or you are open your mind to something new, you expose yourself, your vulnerability is public to others and it makes you scared. I know that a lot of you probably listened to this story before. You all know how the ego learned to fly, right? So at the very young age, when the ego starts, to, uh, inside the, the bird net, they start to fly. The mother eagle pushed the small eagle onto the kid. The small eagle is very shaky. He's scared because down here is the valley. Down here is the rock. He may die. But the mother eagle just pushes and then the small eagle flies. If the mother eagle don't, doesn't push, don't have the courage to fly like this, he will never be fly. He will never be an eagle. Now that is normal. But what another, another fact is, may you not know that not 100% of the eagle <coughs> learn how to fly. Some of them actually die. Now that is the risk when you are doing something new for the change. It may not guarantee you 100% success, but it's worth the try. Just like our president quoted, the success is not in destination, but it's in the journey. One, you embedded into the changing journey, of something new, something better, maybe. It's worth to try. If you're talking about the success, there is many, uh, many definitions of success and many requirements of the people that think if you want to be successful, you want to be smart, you need to have a high IQ, you need to have a high emotion equation, you need to have a lot of stuff and shut and so and so. But for me, if you want to be successful, you need to have the courage to change. You need to have the courage to push a little bit. You need to have the courage to do something more. Now, back then, a few, um, a, a, a few months, or I think a few years back, the Harvard Business School, they done a, a study of their students, and they say that only 3% of them are considered a success. 30% of them are somewhat successful, and more than two-thirds are just sitting there watching the life passing by. What is the main difference between those people? The first thing is setting goal. Just like Tom has mentioned, you need to have a goal, a long vision to do that. But it's a change when you just passively receive anything from others. And now you need to change, you need to be open, you need to set a goal to actively follow it. It's difficult. But I, will, I tell you, it's worthwhile. To become successful, to adapt the change, the second point that I would like to mention to you is that the tenacity or the persistence. Now, another study uh, done by Robert Clay on the sale of people, he said that 80% of the sale uh, of the sale revenue is done by 20% of the sale people, and that if you are sale people, you know that you need to call the people. Do you want to buy my product? No. Another guy, another time. Please buy my book. No. 
Please, 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 please. No. And the fifth time, you want to buy my product? Okay, I consider that. Now you see, ninety-two percent of the sale are done, or the routine sale done. Okay, yes. After four, no. After four, say no. Then the the fifth time, they will say yes. But up to that point, ninety-two percent of the sale person have give up. If they just try one more step, they will get the deal. And that is something we can learn from the tenacity, the persistence to our goal that can make us a better person. Now maybe the courage and all the changes can be even, you think maybe very big or something like that, but I'll tell you, it can be very small. We can be a little bit more better every day. Now today, I wake up at 9 o'clock because, yeah, because I had a drum last time, uh, last night. <laughs> but I said myself that, I don't need to, uh, I said myself that, oh, tomorrow, I wake up earlier, just at 8 o'clock. Okay, so next, next morning, I fulfill that little bit of promise. Then I think, oh, today I do something new, I acquire something new. Now by little by little, I believe that you will sooner, sooner or later become a person of change, a whole person, and you can assess success uh, to your life. Come back to my uh, project. Push. Get out of the CC. Now, how many of you actually think that is a competent communicator? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. I did this. I was so comfortable here. It's a comfort chair. I could sleep here and watch the lights pass by. But push! Get out of the comfort chair. Embrace the world. Be a little more different every day. But I'm just